Welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today, my dear friends, we will talk about the inductors, the usage of inductors, the proper way of operate them, and how to understand problems regarding this equipment. First of all, I'd like to thank you that you are participating and you're taking a really, really involved role in this channel. So, through your answers, you make it live, you make it real, and we continue to walk through from this very, very impressive and interesting uh, world of shipping. The inductors are widely used in vessels such as tankers and bulk carriers. In most cases, it's really important to verify that the effective of this equipment are as much as possible high. So with the proper operation of this equipment, we reduce the operating times and we increase the effectiveness of our ship and our capability as operator. A really important thing is when we make the inspections and before we make the inspections, we have notified and identified all the equipment that probably has a failure or are not performed as much as good as required. So from the gauges, from our gauging system, we can understand if our inductors perform well. For the example, if we see that we do not have enough vacuum created through so our inductor, that means somewhere the air can be sucked from the system, enter in the line, so probably a flange will be loosened. And also there is a possibility that our parts, that stationary parts of the inductor already are worn. So a good inductor perform a really good vacuum, so it will be effective. And let's look inside to see how the things look like. It's really, really simple equipment and the parts are stationary. There is not moving parts. As you can see, we have from this pipe the driving liquid. And from here we have the media and the source, which will be strip in the tankers or also uh, we are talking about the crude oil or another cargo. And for bulk areas, we can talk about water because mostly in that vessels, they are making some cleaning uh, in the cargo holds and later on they collect in a collecting tank all that uh, water with the help of inductors. In that case, in bulk areas, the driving liquid can be seawater. For the tankers, we have our crude oil, which is supplied from the slot tanks, as you can see here. And the cargo pump will suction from the slot tanks, will supply our inductor, and whatever liquid we will have in our cargo tanks will be sucked from this pipe and collect to the slot tank uh, for the discharging later on. So these parts here, which is always affected by the driving liquid, must be properly inspected. But you will tell me how often it's necessary to inspect. If you have accurate gauging system and your gauge are calibrated, you are able 100% to identify all that problems. But anyway, the cargo inspections will be done in the dry dock where the tank will be properly inerted and gas free. Everything as much as possible need to be checked. So a good company and a good management system have checks and the better the management system is and the better there is a writing down the procedures is better to understand not only this particular problem but 
all the other problems. But even that, the operator, from his experience, will be the first alarm and the first identification for the proper operation of the equipment. So we have the driving liquid, we have the withdrawn liquid, and let's see how it will work. It's working like that. By creating a negative pressure on this side, because we have the differential pressure between the inlet and the outlet, so with the help of the flow we create on this side vacuum. And what is really really important to create vacuum to have and to, to have a proper vacuum level so the pressure that we will supply here will be much much enough and need to meet the operating pressure of the inductor so always be sure that you're using the proper pressure for the proper inductor this is how it was designed some specific pressures, let's say for example, in our case, 9 bars per square centimeter. So if you will use less, it will not be effective. So the effectiveness of the equipment will fall down and you will not be able to withdraw the same amount of liquid and the liquid will not flow to your suction point. It's really important to know these basics because in most of the cases it's basics so it will be really easy understandable how your system working and later on we have the flow let's go back a little bit to view again we have our driving liquid spray with the speed and due to difference as you can see there is incline and incline piping it creates this kind of vacuum on the suction point so have in mind the basics for the inductors is to keep the proper operating pressure so in the suction point you will have as much as possible a big vacuum and also you have seen that the injectors that are uh, basically made for the same thing they are creating vacuum to the vacuum condenser so you have the steam which is driving through here through the driving pipe and later on it will suction all the air from the vacuum condenser and why we need in the vacuum condenser this kind of state of vacuum it is for better rolling of the steam the exhaust steam from the turbines to insert the vacuum condenser to create an additional flow a difference so we will have flow from the high pressure steam to the lowest and thus we are increase the effective of our turbine this is from that side so what we have learned today meet the operating pressures and temperatures for sure because that's how the system was designed and from these operating levels you will better understand how the system works for what reason is that pressure for what reason is that temperature think about and let your mind roll thank you again and see you my dear friends on the next videos from adventure story channel bye bye and don't forget your thumbs on the top and to check the library that we have created through the years here. It for, for sure will help in all your stages in this uh, demand profession and hopefully it will help to increase your knowledge. Bye-bye.